Hey there. <laughs> I was so close to uh, not pressing the go live button, but I did anyway. So um, I just want to say thanks so much for joining me here today. Um, I'm launching Webisode Wednesdays where my goal is to first really connect with you. Um, being a virtual provider can make it difficult to sometimes have that connection. So I just want another avenue for us to um, interact and communicate and for you to get to know me a bit better. And then second, um, I want to give you an action item. So each Webisode Wednesday, my goal is to give you an action item um, that really helps you to move forward in your health journey um, so that you can, you know, joyfully pursue your passion in life and um, kind of, yeah, live with joy in this world. So um, with the launch of Webisode Wednesdays, I simply want to introduce myself and my journey. I have some notes in front of me, so I'll be referencing those. But um, if you have any questions or um, any comments or anything like that as I kind of go through this, feel free to shoot them in the chat box. All right. So as we get started, um, you know, when you're just kind of getting to know someone, you tend to ask them what they do, right? But what I find is more intriguing is really the why behind what they do. What's their mission? What's their purpose, right? What's that, that fire within them that kind of pushes them forward? So some of you have attended my master class where I, should, I, I share a bit about my story and how I found myself in the world of functional medicine. Um, I talk about my mom's struggle with Hashimoto's and how she was misdiagnosed and over-medicated uh, for years and years and years, which ended up damaging her thyroid. And of course, this led me to be a bit more hyper aware about my own thyroid gland, right? So you may also know that I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's and PCOS, but if you want to know how I was able to get my way out of that cluster, uh, keep listening because I'm about to divulge the part of the story that I haven't shared yet. So um, yeah, I really want to let you in on the story um, of that today because it's really important to, um, you know, foster that community where we can share our journey, our struggles, um, and our victories, of course, no matter what the size is, right, even if it's a small one. So during my second year of naturopathic medical school, I had an ovarian cyst rupture. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever gone through this, but to date, it is the worst pain that I have ever experienced. Um, I have not uh, had a child yet, but um, it was very, very, very bad. So at the time, I wasn't sure if I had a kidney stone, if I had appendicitis or something seriously wrong with my lady part. So I was scared. Um, and not really knowing what's going on in your body can be a pretty terrifying experience, right? Um, you're basically completely reliant on someone to help you. And I don't know about you, but giving up that and kind of surrendering that can be uh, not the most comfortable feeling. So um, I went into the ER, right, and I got pumped full of antibiotics and who knows what else, right? Everything moves so fast. And when you're in a lot of pain, you don't really know what's going on. But Regardless, uh, it was my ovary, and I had to really face the reality of my diagnosis. So, you know, just from being in school, being in naturopathic medical school, and being my own guinea pig, that's part of that learning process, right? I already knew that I had excess androgen syndrome or um, PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome. Those are kind of all synonymous. Uh, terms. Um, but I also knew that I had the elevated uh, thyroid peroxidase or TPO antibodies. So, um, but the thing is, I was sort of in denial, <laughs> to be honest. Like, I knew these things. I've been exposed to these things, but I just, I don't know. I didn't want to, I didn't want to deal with it, basically. I think that's what it came down to. Um, and, you know, I was in naturopathic med medical school, but the thing was, is that I wasn't really walking the talk. Um, I was still hanging on to some old habits from my early 20s. Um, I was studying really hard. I was basically in class or studying from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Um, but on the weekends, 
I was partying hard. <laughs> I won't get into details, but I was putting a lot of stress on my body. And um, I kept telling myself that it was all about balance, but my body was telling me otherwise, right? It was screaming at me, actually. <laughs> uh, my mind, my body, my spirit, they weren't aligned. And I was being really incongruent, right? I don't know if any of you have lived that way. Um, you know, anyway. So, uh, and you know, my body was giving me some really clear signals that I was totally ignoring. And as you probably know, our symptoms are signals from our body that something is off and we need to pay attention. It's the language of our body and something we really, really need to listen to. So I started paying attention and I'd feel really good for months on end. And then I'd cave and kind of give into this false concept of balance again. And it's kind of silly, right? Ridic ridiculous, actually, to kind of look back at, like, how did I think that being destructive to my body was creating balance? super weird, right? Um, it obviously doesn't make any sense now, but I, you know, I'd party and my body would slip back into inflammatory mode. And, you know, it was actually pretty frustrating at the time because my body would react or respond way more severely than other people that I would be hanging out with, um, whether it be drinking or whatever. Um, and, you know, looking back, of course, it makes a lot more sense now um, because my specific genetic makeup and and the triggers that I was exposing myself to um, were, were all sort of emphasized because I've been predisposed to um, this autoimmune condition and hormonal imbalance, um, which basically meant that my body just couldn't handle excessive toxins. It couldn't handle, you know, pulling really late nights um, and, you know, eating whatever was around, right? <laughs> whatever was convenient. Um, so that's just the card that I was dealt with, but it's actually been more of a blessing than a curse. So um, I basically got to the point where I had to go all in. I had to dive totally in and stop farting on the fence. That's what my mentor, uh, Dr. Sachin Patel, <laughs> says, and I think it's pretty hilarious. So I had to stop farting on the fence and actually just totally dive in. Um, I couldn't you know, just dabble on both sides. So I went gluten-free. I cleaned up my lifestyle. I got on a regular sleep cycle, like actually prioritized my sleep more than anything else. Actually, I had a bedtime, um, got eight hours, even though I was doing crazy school stuff. But, um, and I started working with a practitioner um, who helped me kind of stay on track and keep me accountable. So even as a practitioner myself, it's really difficult to look at at our health from an objective lens. So partnering with someone is really the only way to get and stay on track. Um, so I'm going to take a sip of tea real quick. I'm drinking some oolong tea and it's delicious. Um, so over the span of about two years, by using naturopathic and functional medicine approaches, I was able to completely remove these disease labels um, and remain medication free by identifying the root causes and the triggers and then modifying my nutrition and my lifestyle to create more alignment um, in my mind and my body and my spirit right? When we're living in alignment, things run a lot more smoothly. So from my personal experience and also working with, you know, hundreds of patients and clients, this root cause approach along with targeted nutrition and lifestyle changes actually account for about 80% of our success um, and 80% of the success that I see in the women that I work with. The other 20% is usually from supplements. I mean, they're called supplements, right? They're not called permanents. Um, so witnessing this, um, you know, this progress um, and you know, this remission really of my conditions and my symptoms really propelled me to want to help other high achieving women who want to contribute even more to their family, their business, and their community. So, um, you know, I, I love working with these women because I get it because I've 
been there. Like I'm a business owner myself. Like I need to be on point. I need to be on par all day, every day almost. Right. And so, um, those are the women that I love working with. So that's my story. That's how I got here and um, why I do what I do. Um, and I know it works and I want nothing more than to share this approach with you. Um, it's all about getting the education you need to help keep yourself and your family well um, so you can really live a purpose-driven um, and joyful life life. So if you are dealing with hormonal issues or an autoimmune condition, um, I have a free live masterclass coming up and it's called the five root causes of every hormone imbalance and the single most important test to run. So um, to save your seat, just click the link um, in the little description. Um, I'll also put it in the comments so you can check that out. But anyways, um, thanks for sharing your time with me and listening to my story. Have a great rest of your day.